CKFC 32, Orlando, Florida. The animal, Travis Thompson, goes in there, puts on a fight of the night performance against a very tough David Diaz. Man. He's gay, it's David. I was trying to fuck with him at uh, Wayne's and everything. I tried, so the whole point of this was to fuck with him so he would come at me. It didn't work that way. He right. actually had a great game plan. He didn't uh, lose his head, which I was surprised. I thought he'd try to bow, uh, bum rush me, yep. which is what I was expecting. So then he uppercut left hook right hand. He never fucking gave it to me. I was like, you motherfucker. So I was trying to do anything and everything I could to piss him off to make it happen. Uh, he did a good job. He's a tough kid, but... All I did was try to stick the box and jabs right hands. You Kept did that. You, you you stayed technical. You picked your shots and you landed them. Um, Have you he, ever seen he's, me drop my hands before? He has clearly. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you right now, dude. I was surprised by the progression of him. Yeah. Uh, we all know who, what you do, and when you're in there, you're at your most comfortable. We finally got to see you back in there. That fourth round was fucking nuts when you yeah. dropped him. He smiled. He gave you like a thumbs up. Yeah, he got up. Yeah, he did that because he, he did feel it. He'll tell you he felt it, too. He felt it. You always do that. When you get right. hurt, the first thing you'll be like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. He got it. He felt it. But he got up. He likes it. And the end of that round was so damn exciting. This place kid. was going He's nuts. He's a tough fucking kid. He's a tough kid. I would love to do work with him. I'd like to help him in his career because I do think he does have a future in this. Um, the only – animosity I had towards the kid was the fact that he was running four and I was five and the fact that he wanted to open his mouth and taunt that he's some big shit and he's not I have well over 30 pro fights you know so it kind of pissed me off and stung a little bit to see that he was ahead of me um, but I, I think he does have great things in this uh, company I would like to see him get down to 25 though then right. I could see him being a success but fuck let's not talk about him let's yeah, talk let's about, talk about me. you what is next for you, for the animal, man? Well, you were out for 12 months. You came in here. You put on an incredible performance like this. I would imagine we want to ride this momentum and get right back it's in there. It's up to them. I would come back tomorrow if they have me. I don't give a shit. You know I love this shit. Uh, it's all up to them. Whenever they bring me back, I come back. I love doing this shit. Whoever, whatever, whenever, I give two fucks. I'll do it next weekend. There was another 135 fight a little earlier in the night. Ryan, Ryan Reber, Ryan Reber and Jack, Jack, Jack Grady. I fucking hate Jack Grady. I hate that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you guys... Had a, that's we a familiar had, opponent. We almost well, we had two fights. So let's see, there was one at the official weigh-ins yep. where he came in flipping me off. I was ready to crack him in the fucking face. And Ryan's pretty. Ryan's my boy, and he's like, dude, please don't hit him, because then I won't have a fight. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna promise anything, because I fucking hate the dude. And then we almost had another one later on. I was like, I just can't stand the fucking dude. So he, I'm glad that, that yeah, Ryan got the win and got. Yeah, but he's a piece of shit. Headbutting him. What a jerk off. I hope he's gone. As Mike would say, he's a loose unit. You know, he has a <laughs> he's he has a, an idiot. <laughs> now you you mentioned he Ryan. Now it. now you and Ryan did some training together. Yeah. You and him are boys. Yeah. If they were to call you and say, "Hey, you and Ryan," show us money then. Show us money. I mean, here's the thing. At the end of the day, you know, I don't give a fuck. I'll fight whoever, whenever, whatever. But you got to also realize we are doing this for money. You only got a, a limited amount of time to do this, dude. Myself, I'm 39. I'm be 40 in April. I could still compete at this level. It doesn't bother me, but you got to make the money when you can. So, dude, you want me to fight Ryan? We'll fight. Just pay us. Show right. me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> Show him the money. The animal Travis Thompson came back, back where he's the most comfortable inside his cage in there. Uh, victorious at BKFC 32. Do you got anything that you want to say to anybody in particular? I want to thank my wife and my kids, Kelly, TJ, Ali. I love you guys. I told you I'd bring home the W. I did it. Um, thank you very much for sticking by me because I, uh, I had to leave to come down to Florida. I've been training at St. Petersburg for like four weeks with Keith Thurman, you know, mm -hmm. everybody at St. Pete's Gym. I want to thank all of you at St. Pete's Gym. I want to thank my sponsors, Eminem Lubin Automotive in Pottstown. They helped me out with uh, money for training. Kling Law, my boy Aaron Kling, mm -hmm. and his brother Sean Kling of uh, Raya Public Adjusters. All you guys helped me out with my camp. It was a pricey camp, I'm not going to lie, and you guys helped me out. And tomorrow I get to drive back to Philly from Florida. It's going to be a hike. Back to work, man. Oh, yeah, that's back right. to work. So Tuesday I go back to work. Hopefully I'll have Monday off. There it is, man. Everybody pay attention. Ba He's back. The animal's back. Animal's Victorious back. here at the Caribe Royale, BKFC 32. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you to everybody that came out and everybody online. There Appreciate you, you guys. Thank you.